When the red fail is displayed, the circulation of the heating fluid has been prevented or restricted. The error can only be reset once the heating fluid has cooled down to a temperature below 50 degrees Celsius. As you can see here, the temperature has reduced. Next, remove the cover to the boiler electrics. The error can only be reset after removing the 12 volt supply. Unplug the cable for just a moment and then push it back in. You can now replace the cover on the boiler. We now need to confirm the cause of the red failure. The most common cause is trapped air. The circulation pump runs continuously and may have already perched the air. Remove the top cover by unscrewing it. Now bleed the system, starting at the lowest point. Work your way around the vehicle to the highest point in the system. Continue this process until all the air is removed. A stubborn airlock may require the Alder service pump to shift it. To top up the expansion tank, use the same antifreeze currently in the system. Or you can use the Alder Premium G13 antifreeze. The fluid level should be 1 cm above the minimum mark. Check the circulation pump is functioning. Via the control panel, increase the desired indoor temperature to 30 degrees Celsius. The circulation pump is signalled by the circular arrow symbol. Check the pump is configured in the Install Accessories section of the control panel. Only one pump should be ticked. If you have the inline pump installed, tick the main manual 12 volts. If you have the expansion tank pump, tick the optional pump. After the pump has been signalled, you should be able to feel it vibrating. Check the heating fluid is the correct strength, measuring 50% ethylene glycol on a hydrometer. If too weak or too strong, an overheat red fail can occur. An overheat red failure is the boiler's fail-safe mode. If the 12 volt voltage drops below 7 volts, the error will trigger. Repeated errors can indicate a failing battery or power supply unit. This shows good voltage. Check for abnormal restrictions in the pipework. Foreign objects can also create internal blockages and must be manually removed from the flow assembly. Under normal conditions, there's a 10 to 15 degrees C difference in the flow in return. 